is a long but necessary prayer. If you said that prayer and believed in your heart and acknowledged it, you are now born again and saved. You have life. Your life, eternal life begins now and for all eternity you've been resurrected through the life of Christ who laid down his life so you might have life and have it abundant. Man, you have the assurance as a believer. It says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 9. Most surely I say to you, he who hears my words and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death into life. John 5 24. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. First John 5.13 By these are written that you may believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, by these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. John 20, 31. And 38 says, And if he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Six, Matthew 16, 24, and it reads, And Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. made the decision to sacrifice your life to king and country king being Jesus Christ and country being the kingdom of God you've committed your whole life to Christ decided to serve him decided to live for him he made a big step in the right direction and now you must be willing once you learn the essential doctrines of the Christian faith so you know what you believe why you believe it and how to do the work of ministry to decide to go to the battlefield with Jesus Christ as your general leading you in the battle against the devil, the flesh and the world to fulfill the great commission in Matthew 28 the last few verses to go out and convert every nation over to Christ Jesus is Lord and Savior. If the world will slowly and gradually be Christianized, ushering in a golden age of peace and prosperity. That is a big sacrifice and step you made. Now I can't promise you everything will be great and fine and dandy. Or that life will be ease but one thing you can count on is that God will give you peace in the midst of the storm 
and help you overcome your trials and tribulations. And you have a lot of work ahead of you. But don't let that uh, panic you. You know, the first step you need to do is to get yourself a Bible and read the book of John. And go to a local church in your town. <coughs> Tell them you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. And that you would like to learn more about Him. And to go through a program that will teach you the essential doctrines of the Christian faith. And get baptized through full immersion. Or, if you would like, you can go to YouTube, type in Archduke Bishop Robert Maxwell, and scroll through that page, find the ABCs of the Essential Doctrines of the Christian Faith, and go through that, those sermons, so that you can learn the essential doctrines of the Christian faith so you know what you believe, why you believe it, and how to do the work of ministry. You can download those messages for absolutely free or watch it on YouTube. And once you do that, go get baptized in full immersion as a symbol of your faith that you're choosing to die to your old self, your sins and choosing to serve Christ as your Lord Savior for now on as a public demonstration of that commitment those are the first steps you must take and let God do the rest will lead you in the direction that he wants to lead you. You've made the sacrifice to lay down your life for king and country. And Father God, we come before you and thank you uh, that this young man this man, this woman, this child, whoever, that they've come to your saving knowledge and accepted you as Lord and Savior. And we pray that you would guide this young pup in the faith to do the things that they must do. Giving them peace, letting them know that you're with them. In Christ Jesus' name we pray and ask for the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen and God bless you. The angels are singing when a person is born again. There's celebration in heaven. We made all step into eternity. You were adopted by Christ, by God, as one of his children. And your spirit says, Abba, Father. God bless you until next time.